As per statistical reports, the blockchain market is expected to culminate in a revenue growth rate of over 23.3 billion US dollars in size by the year 2023. In that respect, blockchain technology is going to explode in the near future. However, normal people are still not impressed by this technological evolution because of some technical skills needed to interact with it. Another deterrent to adoption is learning, as the technical terminologies that are used to explain the industry can be cumbersome and complex for the average person to wrap their head around. Arguably, many people download new mobile apps on their phones every day since they're easy to use and can be downloaded with the tap of the thumb. Now, what if the mobile apps could be encrypted onto the blockchain? In this video, we're going to scrutinize this idea and how it is going to facilitate the rapid adoption of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Before diving deep, let's take a quick look at the simple meaning of blockchain. Blockchain is essentially a product of unchangeable data governed by a decentralized structure, which means that data isn't controlled by a single entity like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other titanic corporate entities that you're aware of. The decentralization of data is governed by cryptographic principles to ensure data security at all stages of the flow of data to each block, and each saturated data block is bound to the other to form a chain dubbed as a blockchain. I hope that you're enjoying the video, and if you're looking for more content like this, consider hitting the subscribe button for more opportunities emerging from the metaverse. Now let's talk about why the blockchain needs mobile applications. Well, many people who own smart devices download mobile-based applications every day. But when it comes to blockchain decentralized apps, it is still complicated and difficult for normal people who either have no technical skills or new to cryptocurrency technology or do not know how to manage their private keys, don't own any crypto or all kinds of other possible deterrents. If you're already familiar with crypto, this might sound so simple, but for new users, it is a problem. Imagine you're an amateur in this industry and on the first day that you're using any Ethereum-based application, let's say Uniswap, you will need to have a MetaMask browser extension plus some cryptocurrencies already moved into your wallet in order to use it. How do you deposit crypto into your crypto wallet? The act needs a whole lot of processes to achieve, including KYC on a centralized exchange, giving out your ID and a lot of other details for registration. Frankly, it can be overwhelming for someone who is not tech savvy. Then what would be the solution to this problem for crypto newbies? As a matter of fact, the core problem in blockchain-based web applications is that they are not designed for the new user experience. Basically, they are not user-friendly. So let's learn if mobile apps can handle this problem smoothly. Best pay close attention now. Firstly, the users will just be needed to download the app in the same manner as a normal mobile download. Once they successfully download the app, it already has a crypto wallet that is built into it that manages the private keys for them. Secondly, it actually gives some amount of ether in order to pay the initial gas fee that is required from onboarding just a small amount to cover the transaction fees. So whenever you download the app, the mobile wallet automatically manages the private keys which are totally secured in the device. Lastly, you pay the Ether for the gas fee of the transaction at the beginning of opening the app. So all the controversial steps have been done by the app, making it easier to onboard people because they just lift their little finger to download the app and then set it up. Meanwhile, you have your wallet integrated natively in the application itself. It can sign transactions, then it can confirm the transaction signed there on the device itself. What you need is just to have a little bit of Ethereum to interact with the initial smart contracts that the applications interact with. By the way, did you know it's always a good idea to use a VPN when you're using crypto? If you don't have one, be sure to check out our preferred VPN using the link in the description. Now the complexity of purchasing cryptos and registration would be both solved simultaneously, but apart from the financial basis of these kinds of mobile apps, they can also be used in documentation. Here we talk about decentralized file storage so the user could take advantage of simplified mobile features to scan documents and upload into the decentralized file storage system. Also, users can share these scanned documents with other people in a completely decentralized manner. Well, what is our view on this idea of mobile-based apps being integrated with blockchain technological systems? Please share it in the comment section down below. El Salvador is building a crypto city powered entirely by a volcano. Do you want to know more about this? Click on the tab and we'll see you inside the metaverse.